Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. In this video tutorial, we'll see what CSS multi background property is. By multi background, we mean that we are going to use different backgrounds for the same web page or we can say for the same elements. So CSS allows us to do so. So before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we move on to multi background, let's understand what is a background. So a background refers to any color or anything that makes the background of our web page look more interactive or we can say attractive to the user. So let's let me show you a simple example of this. So what we are going to do is we are going to write here hide there inside a div tag. So let me just okay, let's not use okay the paragraph tag over here. So what it's just a simple text, right? So what we'll do is we'll use the style tag over here. And now what we are going to do is we are going to access our div element. So we'll write it here like this. Then we are going to write some properties, some CSS properties. So let's say we are using the border property over here, which says one pixel. The border is one pixel solid in nature and black in color. Fine. It's fine. We have the border. Now we are going to define the height and width. So we'll write over here height as 200 pixels for this and width as 200 pixels for this div tag. So here you can see we have our box. Now what we are going to do is we are going to write a background color and we can change the background color to any of our choice. So this is what we call as background. So it makes our web page look more attractive to the user. But this time what we are going to do is we are going to use multi background. So instead of any color, we can just do one thing we can write here background. Okay, so I have to write here background image. So this is another property. We'll just write here URL. And we just have to put the URL of our image. So let's say we are writing over here. This fine, save it. And here you can see the background. It's changed. The background is an image now. So we can use images as background as well. So now what is multi background? So let's say if we can use more than a more than one image in this particular element. So for that, what we have to do is we have to just add the URL of another image. So we'll write over here after a comma URL URL, we have to give the URL of other image as well. So let's say we are using over here dance.gif save it. And here, here you can see the it's not visible as of now. So the next thing we have to write here is the background position background position we are going to give for both the images. So we'll write over here right bottom for this image and left top for this image. Let's see if it works. So here you can see we are not able to see the image till now. Now we'll write over here background repeat property background repeat property will write here no repeat and repeat save it and here you can see it's not changing anything because the element size is quite small so let me just remove the height and width from here save it now and now here you can see maybe you have these two images but it's still small so what we'll do is we'll use two different pictures and we are going to change everything so let's just to use over here we are not going to use this paper image so we'll write over here url and the url to other image will change so we'll write over here images slash let's say wood dot png we have this image as well so here you can see we have both the images now what we will do is we'll add some more text inside here inside the div tag it's necessary because so let's just Remove this div tag and we are going to create another div tag with ID as div1. And we are going to write here div. We are going to close the div tag here. Now we are going to write here paragraph. Let's say lorem 30. Okay. Lorem 30 we are writing over here. So we have a paragraph over here. 
then I'm going to add some more paragraphs. So let's say I'm writing over here lorem 20, press enter. We have another paragraph and let's add one more. Fine, lorem 10. And here you can see now we have two images. So what will happen if we are going to repeat this background repeat property? And here you can see all the images are repeating themselves again and again. It's a GIF. So here you can see two people dancing. This is an image we are using right now. You guys can use any image. So let's set the position again. So right bottom is for this image. So here you can see the dance image. The first image, it will be present at the right side of the element and at the bottom. Similarly, the next image will be present at the left side and at the top. So this is what we are doing with the help of CSS multi background. So this is how we can include multiple backgrounds to a single element using CSS. There are certain other properties we can use like the background size we have and we have background position and a lot of properties, right? So there's an alternate way to do this similar thing in just one line. So what we have to do is we have to write here the background image property we have to use. So we have to use the URL property after this and just give the URL of your image. So let's say we have dance.gif and now we can use the background position property here. It's a shorthand method. So we'll write here right bottom. This is the background position and no repeat. Okay, so I'll write here repeat. That's it, save it. And here you can see We have to add the other URL as well. So let's do this URL we are going to write here and we are going to write here images slash which image we were using wood.png and so we have to remove this background image from here and we have to write here just background. Save it now and here you can see now both the images we already have both the images right. So we can write here left top for wood dot ENG, PNG, sorry. We'll write here left top and repeat. Save it now. And here you can see this is multi background. So we are using more than one image for a background. We can do the same thing with colors as well. For that, we have to use the gradient property of CSS. We will just give you a little example of how we can use the gradient property in CSS. Similarly, we have the background size property as well. If I write here, background size and if I just write here 100 pixels and 80 pixels and save it. So here you can see it will change the size for both the images. Now both the images are of 100 pixels in height and 80 pixels in width. So this defines the size of all the images we are using as background. So the next property we have we have is the cover and contain. So background size has two different values we can write here cover as well. So for cover, what it will do is it will cover the whole image, the whole image will cover. So let's understand this with the help of another example. Just remove this from here. And what we are going to do is we are going to write here. The background will remain, keep it the same. And just a minute so the background we are going to use a url again an image so let's remove this first image from here for now and save it so here you can see this is our first image the wood image what we are going to do is we are going to define the height and width as well for this div tag or just remove this all this thing I mean, save it so here you can see we can define the height and width now so we'll write here lorem 15 press enter save it and here you can see we have an element let's just define the height and width height going to be 100 pixels okay pixels and width is going to be 150 pixels again so here you can see now we have this image now what we are going to do is we are going to use the background size property and we are going to write here 
contain fine save it so here you can see the whole image is contained within this particular element and if we write cover over here so let's take another example what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this div tag from here i'm just going to change the div id so now we are going to access with the with the help of id so we'll write here hash div one and i'm just going to copy this from here because i don't want to do that much of tasks so i'll just write over here div two i'll just change the image for a moment so let's use some other other image let's see we have this image fine so here you can see it's a gif file actually so we'll write over here cover now save it and here you can see the whole image is covered so basically the cover keyword scales the background image so that the area is completely covered by the background image so both its width and height are equal or as such some parts of the background image may not be visible in the background positioning area so that's what happens when we use the cover and contain value with the background size property so the next thing we are going to see is the css gradient property so it's I, i'm just going to give you a simple example of how css gradient works that's it it's just because we are going through css multi background so let's just use the css gradient property once and you guys will understand it how css multi background work how we can use multiple images and multiple colors just for a background so we have linear gradients radial gradients and a lot of other gradients as well so we have the conic gradients as well so for now let me just remove this from here remove everything from inside the box that's it save it and just write here border as one pixel solid black and let's use a box so what we are going to do is we are going to define the height and width so height is going to be 300 pixel width is again going to be 300 pixels okay 300 pixels save it and here you can see we have a box now now what we are going to do is we are going to apply gradient style property so it's simple we just have to use the background image property and then we have to use the linear gradient then just write here the color names any color of your choice let's say we are writing red and yellow over here save it and here you can see it's multi-colored background we have red and yellow so we can also specify the direction like from left to right from top to bottom this one is from top to bottom if if you write here to right and just give a comma in between save it and here you can see it will go from left to right so we can use diagonal direction as well and that's how we can use we can also use angles as well so angles play a vital role over here what you can just do is you can write over here instead of to right 180 degree so 180 degree defines the angle save it and here you can see it's the 180 degree angle fine because both the colors it basically works like top to bottom so we can write here any value of our choice let's say we are writing 145 degree so it's changed and let's say we are writing over here 10 degree let's see what happens now the yellow color is at the top 10 degree angle it depends on the angle so you have to understand angles first before you go through css gradients so guys this is how we can use multi background with the help of css to make our web page look more attractive to the user so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys must have understood the idea of using multi background on your web page try doing it on your own and you guys will understand it much better so with that this is kaushal signing off until next time thank you